you got to be careful when you're handling stuff like DMSO because it makes your skin super porous and you might uh, absorb something through your skin and then you'd be sorry and then you'd be what we call Osmaro. I, I, I don't know where I was going with that. It's from Night Apparatus, just made on Game Maker Studio. You can pick it up for about $5 Canadian. Uh, what is it? You're an, it's an adventure set on the planet Osmaro where, ogre, where the Ogre Clan has run rampant. Your mission is to help restore peace and order to the world as you liberate, quote unquote, Osmaro from the Ogre Oppression used highly skilled melee and ranged combat <laughs> along with swift and precise movements to quell the Ogre threat. Dev did send us some keys for this. We, we were just so talking fun. about fanfic before. <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. So this is this is your QA edition. This is where we take a game and we, uh, we we rip it apart and tear it a new butthole and such. We talk we talk about uh, does it work, does it uh, does the performance, the graphical fidelity and the controls, we give it a score on one to four chairs based on that criteria, and then we give it a more loosey goosey arbitrary score based on the fun we had playing this game. So, I mean, let, let, let's let's not uh, dilly dally anymore. Then let's run this down. Eighteen oh four dot one, I guess, because I get dot one. I don't know. That just comes out. Whatever. It's point release. Uh, Ryzen seventeen hundred, Nvidia nine eighty. Everything you need to run this. Uh, does it launch? Yes, it launches. Good. You get one chair for that. How does it run at 1080? Motherfucker, it better. Uh, it does. <laughs> 100% on that. Uh, graphics, you're looking at them. If you're listening to them, it's, it's like a t- an attempt at hipster pixel bullshit. That's the thing. Uh, no windowed mode. Pedro's going to agree with me on that. That's some bullshit. I don't like that. And this is a problem. It's not the fact that it has two cursors. It's that one of them lags behind the other, adding insult to fucking injury. So you get a big old nope. With those two things controls however ladies and gentlemen boys and girls steam controller out of morbid curiosity after some other shit i'll get into later i reached over tapped it it fucking worked fuck me on that so yeah three out of four chairs which is probably the nicest thing i'll have to say about this game yeah on uh fedora 28 uh 64 bit with the i7 6700k gtx 1080ti Yes, it does in fact launch and will get 60 frames a second, though I would be quite shocked if it doesn't because VSync is locked on ever. Uh, graphical options, there is none. You can set it to uh, one of two resolution settings. Yeah, there's there's no windowed mode and yeah, so, so many cursors, man, <laughs> everywhere. Open up, go to the bathroom, there's a cursor. You open up the fridge, make a sandwich, cursor. It's just too many cursors, man. And um, it kind of has correct dual shock prompts insofar as they'll say like press A or cross to do a thing, but it doesn't actually give you the picture of the button. So you have to read it and that doesn't necessarily work particularly well, but you know, the, the controls do in fact work. Do, do they work for the game? Well, we'll talk about that in the fun segment, but three out of four chairs for fedoras. What about solace? Yeah. So over here on solace, 3.9999999. Now come on. Wait, did the solace have like different versions? Uh, no, it's just, <laughs> it's just a rolling release lines. distro. Yeah. Uh, Ike is just so pissed off at people asking when's uh, 4.0 going to come out. He just keeps tacking nines to the end. Uh, so no, over here, this. <laughs> it uh, it launches just fine. The performance, yeah, it's v synced to whatever your uh, monitor's refresh rate is. So what and happens if you have 144 hertz? I'm guessing it'll run at 144 explodes. FPS. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, the graphics, there's, like Ven already mentioned, there's no way to enable windowed mode unless you're running KDE, but that's a third-party thing, so the game doesn't get any bonus points for that. Uh, the uh, usual game maker shortcuts for like toggling between full screen and windowed mode, like F4 or Alt Enter, don't work. What about so, Alt F4? Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, that one works. That does but that work. just kills yeah. it. Uh, <laughs> and yes, there's always two screens, uh, two cursors on screen the whole time. Uh, it's you get the OS one and then the game one, which is huge and it's laggy. So that's just stupid uh, now uh apparently it works with dual shocks and um the steamy controllers on other distros but it didn't work with either the uh 8-bit do or the um steam controller over here in solus and just to be sure just for the sanity check i tested a bunch of other games and it, it they work with those still so it wasn't an update that broke things it's just 
this game doesn't like Solus apparently. So for me, it gets two out of four. So much for mm. Linux Steam integration. All right. How about fun, Ven? Did you enjoy yourself in Osmoro? Oh, fuck no. Um, <clears throat> it, it's 45 minutes of you have died, and it felt like several, several hours. Initially, it was like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, then taking one for the team, coming in at like 30 minutes. I'm like, it's just, oh, I'm getting murderated to death. You're looking at it right there. Basically, you have two things. You, you can boop with your sword or you can swing mm -hmm. with your sword. Fuck all. I mean, hair trigger on the controller to switch between the two. I don't think it's a horribly done game. It's clearly not lazily done, but it's definitely hindered by the tools the developer chose to make the game in. So, you know, if I was playing this in a web browser, I'd be like, you know what? Eh, all right. That's kind of fun. Like on Newgrounds in 2002, I, I'd have a lot of polite things to say for it. Four ninety nine. It's got some things. I mean, it's got letterboards and stuff like that. Achievements. Kind of impressive, but it needs some work. And you look at the forums, a lot of people, a lot, I think there's like five posts for it. Uh, and I know somebody messaged me. That's why I kind of wanted to throw this in and get it out of the way on Steam saying, can you make this thing work? I launched mm -hmm. it and I was like, yeah, it launches. I don't know what they were running, but it doesn't work for them. But yeah, that two cursors thing, that's stupid. That needs to be fixed. No wounded mode. And uh, story-wise, I, I can't really tell you anything because just the basic combat and stuff like that. It's like, th this sucks. I'm, I'm trying to run away from en enemies. I'm trying to kill them. And all I'm doing is just seeing the screen. You have died. You have died. Live, die, repeat. Uh, yeah. Fuck this noise. One chair. No, I'm going to ding it another chair just because Ven reminded me of a crappy Tom Cruise movie. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, now I have tech cancers. No, the, the fighting in this game sucks. Let's let's be real. Yeah, um, you, you, you have the little stabby thing. And if you hit the uh, the D-pad and the 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 attack button you can do a big swipe and then if you dash you can do like a powerful swipe that will sometimes stun an enemy but sometimes not it's very inconsistent as to when it does that and yeah that, that that's sort of your fighting mechanisms you can you can pick up other items and sometimes you can get better weapons that do a little more damage but the core combat mechanic which is what the game is focused on mind you is terrible yeah. um mm -hmm. It, it's really it's just really easy to get murdered um it's hard to tell when you're getting hit it's hard to tell when you're hitting something and then sometime the the other the other thing too is enemies with range attacks can shoot diagonally you cannot mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is a little unfair um just because fuck like there was one room with like a little dragon dude and it took me like 10 minutes to beat it as i <laughs> tried to find the magical combination of buttons that would finally enable me to kill it and have some amount of health remaining yeah, and there, there's even like a little annoying ship battle segment. There's like a traveling thing where you can go to other islands, and it's just not fun. And that's and that's basically all I can really say about this game. Like, yeah, there, there's lots of people you can go and talk to. Like, someone pl clearly put some effort into like trying to make this quote unquote immersive, and they failed. Um, I don't really care about the plot. It's all just like, oh, well, you should go check out this thing north. That's I did, that will give you more quests, and you pick up more quests, and sometimes you complete them, and sometimes you don't. And I just find myself not really caring. And yeah, making making it to that forty five minute mark is rough, rough, mm -hmm. rough, rough. Um, I cannot, in good conscience, recommend this game when you can just you know. Find a copy of Legend of Zelda at your local Blockbuster and rent a Nintendo Entertainment System and play this that. You'll true. actually have some fun because it's still hey, a solid game. Strider brings yep. up a good point. Anodyne and also, uh, what was it? Hyperlight Drifter. Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, all, which was also a Game Maker Studio game. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to give it one chair for fun. It's not, it's not fun. No, no. Yeah. It's not only not fun, it's infuriatingly not fun. The days are super short, and you have a limited amount of lantern fuel, so going around at night just becomes a squinting exercise. Uh, there's little to no feedback uh, as to what you're hitting or if something is hitting you. The combat in general just feels like you're waving a feather duster at things until... They drop or your character drops. The music at some points just screeches so loud in your ears that you have to wonder if your neighbors are going to bash in the door just to make sure you're all right. Uh, there's 
I guess there's a game hidden under all this, but I just couldn't muster the stubbornness necessary to find it. So yeah, one chair for me. Mm. All right. Well, that's 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 the score. All right. Um, I, I don't know. We got any final thoughts before we kick on over to the hit mill? Well, I guess the ultimate question we have to ask, and to the developer, you know, Night Apparatus, you worked on it. I mean, there was work done into this. This isn't shovelware by any means. Um, nope. It's it. It's just not good. Yeah. I mean, this is a good first attempt. It's four ninety nine. So it has that going for it, question mark. I it, guess. All it's right. not as bad as it was on release when it was like $15. Okay, so I wasn't smoking crack. I think I checked it last week and it was fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Ouch. I, I feel right. bad for someone who paid the iron price for that. Here's the thing. I thought I wasn't paying attention. Okay, then. Fuck that, because uh, that was one of the points. Is like, really, you want fifteen bucks for this? That's mm-hmm. fucking insane. At four ninety nine, uh, considering I think the developers kind of like peace out. You're stuck with what you get. And yeah, he's like, he's done. Just if you do do something else, uh, their uh, person do it better, Mister Miss Mister Apparatus. <laughs> not, not again. Absolutely not shitting on this because somebody had a vision. They had a story to tell. It just didn't translate very well into this game. No, no. 